what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. So, I bought this little air pump, it's a Ryobi Plus one, so it takes my batteries from my other power tools, because I used one when I was racing at Collingrove last week, um, not a Ryobi one, a Milwaukee one, but yeah, I have the uh, Ryobi batteries, so I had to get a Ryobi one, probably a lot cheaper than the Milwaukee one. Not quite as flash as the Milwaukee one, but yeah. First time I've used it. What we got here? Telling me I've got 5 psi. I need to put it up to 30. Well, that's what I'm going to run it at anyway. Okay, 23, 24, 20, 30. Oh, let's go 31. Yeah, all right. So we're going to talk about the old 180B while that's... That should turn off by itself, so we'll just leave it. So we're going to talk about it, the 180B. So, had a bit of a drama. I thought I was going to go in and register it uh, during the week last week. Because usually with these cars, if you've got most of the information, you can just walk in and register them. Not this time, not this time. Um, unfortunately it wasn't in their system so um, well the number plate was but the, the VIN uh, chassis, chassis number wasn't so that means I've got to take it I've got to take it to the police station for a number check unfortunately if I do that I'm running the risk I'm running the risk of getting a defect for certain things like you know mechanically it's, it's fine brakes work and and all that even the air conditioner runs but you know it's stuff like that stuff like that you know I'll, I'll run the risk of coming home with a yellow canary a yellow sticker on my windscreen saying nope not allowed to register it until all this shit's fixed so, I've got a couple of options. Maybe it goes above and then turns itself off. I think that might be what the thing is. Okay, this GoPro battery must be on its last leg, so it's been on a charge for five days and it's only at 52%, so gotta be quick. So I um, got the fuel tank all cleaned out and it came up really, really nice. Oh, Drop the keys. So, um, still waiting for a fuel sender because uh, the one that was in it was just it's gone it's dead so i've got a fuel sender coming um for the fuel gauge i should add the fuel gauge sender is coming through the post it should be here any day so um once that's in that's it that's all i'm going to do until i start pulling it apart if i had known that uh, i can't register it i probably wouldn't have bothered with all of that but you live and you learn. Okay. That loop. So. 
was I saying? I'll just put this back on. So none escapes. Oh, come on now. So anyway, got a couple of options on uh, what I can do because it has to go in for number inspection. Where's the sun? Over there. Um, I can tidy up the, uh, the rust. I can tidy it up with body filler and make it look half reasonable and then take it in. But is that just a waste of time? Because all I want to do is get Club Rego on it, so it's registered in my name, because it's not now. And maybe take it for a couple of spins around the block. Is it worth going through all that effort just to take it for a couple of spins around the block before I pull it off the road? I don't know that it is. Um, I don't think about it for a couple of days. What I am going to do when I start restoring it is I'm going to start with all the removable panels because that's where the major rust is that I'm worried about fix those up bolt them back on give them a quick prime up and then maybe take it down see if I can get some registration on it may not happen we'll see how I feel at the time but uh, for now I'm just going to start it up and uh, give it a run because it hasn't been run for a couple of weeks so just want to keep the uh, everything um, wet inside the motor you have to start your motors every now and then otherwise yeah things go dry things start leaking and things turn to shit like the fuel tank that got clogged up from sitting too long so anyway I've got to put a battery in it and we'll do that anyway but I know my luck I'm very unlucky when it comes to that sort of thing and um, most likely I'll either break down and then have to retrieve it and my car trailer's not here right now or there'd be a policeman sitting right around the corner I'm just not lucky when it comes to that sort of stuff. So, uh, I'm not gonna do that. A lot of people would, but I know in America you can get away with it quite easily. Sometimes I really wish I lived in America. But, uh, she hasn't warmed up yet. I'm just gonna drive up and down the driveway a couple of times and annoy my neighbors. Okay guys, that was just a quick, quick 180B uh, video, just to let you know what's going on with the old girl. Yeah, it'll be a, a couple of months before I can start working on it. I really need to get a, a free spot in the shed first. I've got to get rid of a couple of customers' cars so I can free up a spot for the 180B. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a couple of months away before that happens. So soon as it's in i'll be uh i'll be starting by ripping off a door and getting into the uh the rust on the door so i did do a door skin removal video which i only half finished because i sold sold the car halfway through the video so um i'll do that video again it'll be a bit different this time because i don't have a brand new door skin i'm going to have to fabricate the new tin to put in it so this one will be a little bit more involved anyhow if you want to see all that don't forget to like and subscribe and do all of that because it would help me out grandly and uh i'd appreciate it i'd really appreciate it so on that note i'll catch you guys another time 
and uh, so on that note I'll catch you guys another time and uh, yeah